Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the concrete steel bond strength or concrete reinforcement bond strength. So the bond between the concrete and reinforcement play an important role in carrying the load of the structure. So let's suppose this is in a beam, in a simply supported beam. And the simply supported beam is made up of reinforced concrete. So it is RCC beam and this is any reinforcement bar placed in this beam. So there are various numbers of the steel bar placed in this beam and this steel bar is being surrounded with the concrete. So concrete is placed all around the steel bar. Now this there will be some bond between this concrete and the steel. So this is known as the bond between the concrete and the reinforcement. And there are some factors that affect this bond strength between the concrete and the steel. This is called the bond between the concrete and reinforcement. And the stronger the bond between the concrete and steel, the higher load can be taken by this bond. So this was a simple example in order to show the bond between the concrete and the steel. Now there are various factors so I want to explain these factors one by one that how it can affect the bond strength. The first factor is that the bond strength increases when the concrete strength increases. The bond strength depends on the strength of concrete. So the bond strength increases when the strength of concrete increases. When the strength of concrete increases. This is the first factor that affects the bond strength. So if we have higher strength of the concrete then it means that we have higher bond strength. If let's suppose this is the same beam and there is also and there is also a steel bar here placed in this beam. Now if the concrete strength, let's suppose this concrete strength is 10 megapascal. So the bond strength will be lower if I compare with the concrete of 25 megapascal. So it will have low bond strength, lower bond strength. This will be the medium bond strength. Now if I place the concrete with a strength of let's suppose 50 megapascal. So it will have higher bond strength. So it depends on the strength of the concrete. If we have higher strength of the concrete, then we have higher bond strength. So this was the first factor that affects the bond strength. The second factor is the concrete cover. The bond strength increases. The bond strength increases if the clear cover increases. If we increase the concrete cover. concrete cover increases. So the higher the cover for the concrete, the higher will be the bond strength. Now what is concrete cover? Let's suppose this is the cross section of the beam and these are the steel bars placed in this beam. So the distance, the distance from this bottom of the beam of the concrete up to the reinforcement steel bar, this distance is known as concrete cover. I represent this distance by D. Let's suppose this concrete cover is represented by D. So if we increase this distance, there will be higher space for the bonding. So that's why the higher the space between the lower portion of the beam and the steel bar, the higher will be the bond strength. Now there is another beam, let's suppose, and we have steel bar here at this position. Now we have a higher D in comparison to this beam. So in this case there will be the higher bond strength because now the distance for the bonding is more in comparison to this beam. So this will have higher bond strength. Higher bond strength while the first one have the lower bond strength. Lower bond strength. So this was the second factor. The third factor is the diameter of the steel bar the bond strength decreases 
the bone strength decreases if the diameter of steel bar increases. Diameter of steel bar increases. So, the higher the diameter of the steel bar we are using, the lower will be the bond strength. Because if you higher, if you use the higher bond, if we use the higher steel bar, then it will take more place and there would be less space for the bonding. That's why it is in inversely proportion to the diameter of the steel bar. If the st higher steel bar of the reinforcement or the higher diameter of the steel bar, the lower will be the bond strength. The fourth factor that affects the bond strength is the distance between the steel bar. So, distance between steel bars, if distance between steel bars increases, then bond strength also increases. It is directly proportional to the distance between the steel bar. Now, let's consider this is any beam cross section and these are the steel bars. Now, in this case, let's suppose this is the distance between the steel bar represented by S. Why? The, uh, the, we have another beam cross-section where, where we have higher space between the bonds between the steel bar. This is also S. So, in this case, we have smaller S. So, the smaller, in case of the smaller distance between the steel bar, we have lower bond strength. In case of the higher distance between the steel bars, we have higher bond strength. Because again, the area for the bonding increases. So when you have a larger area for the bonding, there will be higher bond strength. The fifth and the last factor that affects the bond strength is the type of the steel bar. Type of steel bar. There are two types of the steel bar, that is plain bar and the deformed bar. One is the plain bar and the second one is the deformed bar. The plain bar have lower bond strength usually. It has the lower bond strength. I will explain that why and this is this has the higher bond strength. Now to explain this, let's consider this is any steel bar. This is the steel bar of, this is the plain steel bar. So in case of the plain steel bar, there are no ribs provided on the outer surface of the bar, of the steel bar. While in case of the deformed bar, there are some ribs provided on the top surface of the steel bar. So due to these ribs, there is some friction created between the concrete and the steel bar. So due to the friction created between the steel bar and the concrete, it increases the bond strength or we can say it increases the encourage between the two material, between the concrete and the reinforcement. So this encourage has been increased due to the ribs. These ribs are responsible for increasing the strength of the bond. In case of the plain bar, we always have lower bond strength. While in case of the deformed bar, we will always have higher bond strength. That's why we always prefer the deformed bar in our structures. Hope you guys understand that what are the factors that affect the concrete steel bond strength. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.